Hello and welcome to the MAC weather page for the Saturday, June 13th. You can see temperatures in the upper 50s to low 60s, lots of cloud cover. That's why we have a pretty consistent uh, temperature pattern across the area. Uh, can't rule out a chance of a shower or thunderstorm at almost any given time all the way through much of next week. Probably the only day I think we could be precipitation free would be Tuesday when it looks like we could see plenty of sunshine between systems. But over the next uh, 24 hours we expect pretty minor amounts, just some scattered uh, showers, maybe a thunder shower, but no big deal until we get into later tomorrow. If we take a look at the uh, radar, you can see some of the scattered activity trying to develop across the area, much more back off to the southwest. But again, for the most part, uh, at least for uh, today and tonight, it'll be more on a scattered basis. And you can see some of the very heavy precipitation amounts we picked up here really since Thursday in White Cloud leading away at 2.80. But uh, this is also linked on our uh, homepage right on the weather map there. And if you look at the uh, next map, this is a forecast map for tomorrow now. Low pressure system moving from Iowa across the southern Great Lakes will push that warm front back to the north. And we'll see a chance of showers and thunderstorms. Any of these thunderstorms could be severe. Again, especially from around Muskegon to just north of Bay City on to the south. And if we put it into motion for Monday, again, that frontal boundary is still pretty much draped across much of the region. And with that, waves of energy move along it. And again, we'll have a chance of uh, strong storms, mainly from Muskegon to around Alma or towards Sandusky and off to the south. So a rather active weather pattern uh, expected here right on through next uh, week. And you can see the GFS, a 72-hour forecast for precipitation, includes about a half inch to an inch with some locally heavier amounts across all of lower Michigan. Uh, at least the southern half of lower Michigan, a little bit less as you get off to the north. But then if we look at the 10-day outlook from the GFS, and not saying that these heavy amounts are going to be correct, and, and their location certainly could vary, but it is something we need to watch very close here in Michigan. If that were to wobble a little bit north on some of these systems, and some of the very heaviest rains could fall in our area right now, about one and a half to two and a half inches across much of lower Michigan, uh, basically south of the line from Saginaw Bay to Muskegon. And then, of course, pockets of heavy rain. The big thing to get from this is not necessarily these mounts, which would be about 8 to 12 inches of rain across central Indiana into northwest Ohio, which is getting pretty darn gone close to some of our southeast locations. But the idea is we're in a very wet pattern with lots of moisture coming right out of the Gulf as high pressure system wobbles back and forth between Bermuda and the southeast coast, pumping that moisture up into the Great Lakes region. And I don't see that pattern changing anytime soon. Thanks for stopping by and have a great Saturday and 73s to all.